Hey what is up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Gran Turismo 7 news and updates. So early hours of this morning we got a little notice from the official Gran Turismo website that basically says we are getting an update this week. We're going into maintenance on the 27th or the 26th. Um, I think it depends on your region, uh, which will basically make it either the Wednesday um, kind of late on or the early hours of Thursday morning, depending on where you are in the world. Now, this has led to a bit of speculation. So whilst we are pretty much guaranteed to get the update on Thursday, we've had, we haven't had the usual kind of thing of the CAS silhouettes, which usually happen on either the Saturday or the Sunday, the weekend prior to an update. So this has got a lot of people thinking, you know, I'm kind of guess worried, quite rightly so, that all we are going to get with this update is basically the new Super Formula cars, so that being the Toyota and the Honda, obviously the SF23 chassis by Dallara, um, and that is basically going to be it. We'll probably have a few events surrounding those, um, and that will kind of be the update as a whole, since nothing has really been known about it, nothing's really been said anything about it, there's, you know, the not, not the usual silhouettes whereas kind of like the last update especially there was a lot of information coming out um, in the weeks prior and you know some of the other prior updates we've had a ton of info coming out even weeks prior to that update whereas this one there's literally nothing apart from what we already knew um, as of late March that the super formulas will come in their late April update so people are quite rightly worried in the fact that they've not seen any other silhouettes. We already knew the super formulas were coming and they're basically going to go and assume that that is literally all we're going to get. Now, this is a possibility. This could happen. It could be a very minor update for a monthly update. It could possibly be, you know, quite poor. However, there is a few advantages to this. This could mean that content wise away from the cars, we could get some very solid things like maybe a new full track, not just layouts and such, maybe a new real world track, which will be quite nice to go in and, and kind of coincide with these, you know, real life super formula cars, which have just started their 2023 season and such. And there is a few cars that they go to on their calendar that are missing so that is a possibility obviously nothing has been said about it so that is just kind of you know a different way of looking at it or we could just get maybe just the super formulas and maybe a couple of events surrounding them and that will be it which will be quite disappointing considering this is all about getting real world licenses you know it's something that Gran Turismo's got over other games the fact that they are you know in a partnership with Super Formula and such so it would be disappointing to see them come in in such a minor way and then kind of just left the rot in the game you know it, it will be you know very very disappointing if that does happen however if we do want to look on the plus side like I said this could open the doors to some better things to come maybe we could get a whole new bunch of events maybe they'll focus on that side of the game like i've been trying to push for the longest time that gran turismo now needs to focus on the quality of life and the content side of things not just you know the cars and, and kind of you know implementing things such as psvr2 and such which have all come in and you know kind of stuff like that over the last few months i really feel like they need a push on the content and on the quality of life side to just improve the game as a whole you know we've got plenty of cars that can last us for you know a decent while and now we've had the whole physics changes we've got psvr2 implemented we've got the used car dealer implemented in terms of those kind of features or core features of the game they're all in now so now for me it is time for them to start focusing on realistically padding this game out giving it more life giving it a a fresh kind of i guess coat of paint to the events and stuff that many feel like rinse and repeat or very kind of short events that i kind of just put in there in in terms of an update and you're done within an hour um, of all the brand new events so hopefully you know if we look at it from that plus side this could be the time where they really focus on that so like i said it's a little bit worrying but at the same time who knows we don't usually know anything until the trailer drops now i don't know if they will do a trailer considering there's been no kind of silhouettes and such i'm assuming they will and um, that will probably drop on the wednesday and we'll start to learn more of what will come with this update it could be a case of maybe because i just decided to do away with the silhouette and um, but that will kind of not really make sense considering it's something he's done for every single update since Gran Turismo 7 kind of you know started getting its post-launch content 
So my guess at the bare minimum, we are definitely going to get the super formulas and I feel like that may be about it for the vehicles. I think we'll definitely get something surrounding these super formulas, um, maybe a new track um, that runs on the calendar of the super formulas considering this is a partnership that will kind of make sense. I think we'll more than likely, you know, definitely get those events surrounding the super formulas. It would only make sense to put them in and kind of make a big deal about them a month prior to this update saying that they're coming this month. Um, it would kind of, like I said, only make sense that they'd actually, you know, have an event and, and maybe probably in the form of a cafe menu surrounding the super formulas, uh, which will be quite nice. And hopefully, uh, in my opinion, it's a championship compared to just a bunch of, you know, single racers for ticking stuff off, you know, with a, a ticket reward or something. I hope we get a proper new championship implemented alongside the super formula cars. So at least that's my hope anyway. Who knows? We'll wait and see what happens on the Wednesday. Day. if the trailer drops i will cover it and talk about it if it doesn't we'll see what happens on thursday so the thursday and friday i will cover everything from this update but we are certainly getting an update for this month or well this week should i say so it will be the april update there's not much known about it as far as i know there's nothing really going around out there at the minute um, so let me know what you think this update will be do you think it'll just be a very i guess poor update with very little in it or do you think this is the opportunity for Gran Turismo to really kind of take advantage of this partnership that they've got. So just a little side bit here talking about the video that I put up yesterday, which was my 1.32 wish list. Um, that video is now being put back to tomorrow, so I will get that video out tomorrow. Um, putting your suggestions forward, so if you do actually have any suggestions and you missed that video, feel free to put them down below of what you'd like to see in 1.32 or whatever it will be called once it finally drops. Um, I do kind of want to know what the community as a whole wants. Um, I will then kind of put all the top rated comments from yesterday's video and this video together um, and basically put it out there to, you know, hopefully maybe one day Polyphony will see it, take note of it and realize what the community as a whole wants, whether that be single player content, multiplayer content. It can be absolutely anything you want to see within Gran Turismo 7 in future updates or maybe even discussing about what you'd want to see from this kind of super formula based update. So that video will be out um, at 4 p.m. tomorrow, so make sure you do put your suggestions forward. I'll be taking them in all overnight um, and then putting them together. Uh, like I said, the top rated ones will get there, so make sure your idea is you know, top notch. So that's going to be it from me today. Thank you so much. I just thought I'd have my kind of little say on what's happening with this rather quiet update so far. Who knows what will come Wednesday. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I will keep you up to date with everything Gran Turismo 7 and Motorsport related, um, hopefully into the future. Um, yeah, big thank you to my sponsors, the Controller People and Poggers for their continued support, as well as my channel members. If you do want to become a channel member, there is the option somewhere on this video. I can't, don't really know where YouTube put it. Um, and I will also have my Discord, my Twitter, and my donation link down in the uh, description down below. I will see you all later on, guys. Have a great day. Peace.